Welcome, friends and collectors. You've joined me for an all-new episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a 187 or HO scale mining model. Specifically, this is the Komatsu WX22H Underground Mining Wheel Loader. This is the latest in a series of Komatsu shareholder gifts uh, that are offered, obviously, to Komatsu shareholders. And they normally come from Japan. I purchased mine from eBay, off of a seller on eBay, and I have been doing this for a number of years, and this is the 2022 edition of this long-growing series. Uh, I believe, off the top of my head, I believe there are eight or nine of these already, and uh, this one is pretty exciting. So, let's not waste any more time. I'll tell you a little bit more about this as we go throughout the video. It was delivered to me in this white Komatsu box, which is, to me looks like it's an outer shipping box, so we're going to go with that. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see what's inside. So as I said, while I'm getting this open, uh, many of you guys will recall earlier this year, and I stand by my word of saying that it has a really good chance of being the Diecast Emporium model of the year. Uh, you may remember that Weiss Brothers released this exact same model in 1 to 50 scale. So now you can have it in 187 scale if you collect in a slightly smaller scale. So there is the model and the model's actual box. Now they have it listed as the WX22H load haul dump. We of course know that as an underground mining loader. Scale 1 to 87. The sides are blue. Obviously a whole lot of things going on in the back in Japanese. I would assume that this is more or less a warning uh, choking hazard logo, etc., etc. This is probably a list of its scale and details. Uh, and on the bottom, here we go. The exact same thing here in English. Komatsu original scale model, not for sale. Important notice, not suitable for children under 36 months. Small parts, choking hazard contains small parts that could cause choking if swallowed. Do not allow the model to be played with if it has been damaged or modified. Manufactured with a high detail and delicate parts. Handle with hair. And, uh, handle with care handle with hair. Good lord. Uh, and in writing here, on the bottom in red, for ages over 13, handle with care due to the presence of small parts. Over here we have, it's produced by Komatsu LTD, their website in Japan, uh, and I would assume that's their address. Okay, that's out of the way. There's the top of the box if you want to see that, the outline drawing, and again, WX22H load haul. All right, Let's get this thing out of the box and take a closer look at it. I'm pretty excited to see what this looks like. Because the Weiss Brothers model in 1 to 50 scale is absolutely a knockout. And for this being a 187 scale as small as it is, I can tell you immediately just by handling it here and looking at it, it's very impressive. So once you have it out of the box, there is no assembly to do and you are ready to display it. Okay, we bring Mr. Spin Table back in, since this is a 187 scale video review. And uh, just because this is fresh on my mind, somebody just commented about this on another one of the video. The static you hear in the background is the motorized table. It's motorized. That's the noise it's making. So anyway, that's that mystery is now cleared up. I didn't think that needed to be explained, but evidently it does. Alright, so on the display table, details, paint... Really good for HO scale. Um, again, for those of you that may not be familiar with models in that small of a scale, here is a pen right next to it uh, for size reference. Uh, what else do I have readily available? Again, most of you guys watching are going to know what HO scale is, but there are some that don't. Here is a bottle of my favorite glue that I use for modeling. Can't recommend this brand of glue enough. By the way, they are also local to me. Just want to throw that out. Very local. Their corporate headquarters is here. So that gives you a couple good references of everyday items that uh, you can see just how small this is. All right, details and decals. Here's your logo, all of your intricate parts for your hybrid motors, your regular motors, all back here. Again, I went through all of that in my 150th scale review, so I'm not going to focus too hard on that. The green safety railings and handrails here, they are plastic, but they are thin. They look like they're just about the perfect size. On the back here, you have the Komatsu logo. Uh, on the back of the engine housing. This would swing out on the real machine. 
We saw that again in the 150th scale video. If you haven't seen that video, please, by all means, I will post a link at the end of this video. I cannot encourage you enough. Check out that review, and you can kind of compare and contrast the model in two different scales. The tires themselves are rubber. The wheels do appear to be plastic. There is a, a good balance between plastic and metal pieces on this model, but for the most part, a lot of it is metal. There's some decent weight to it, including the bucket. Pretty much the entire bucket casting itself is metal. Uh, other details. Here's your cab, and I believe your operator does sit to the side in this machine so that he has better visibility. Uh, and there's, it, there's just a lot of details on here that look really, really good. All right, let's go ahead and get to functionality. So it can articulate, as you are seeing right now. You can also raise the loader arm up to there. And that also gives you a good view of the casting detail on the underside of the bucket. Here's some wear plates on the side of the bucket. Now this machine, obviously, as its name would imply, sees some hard work. These work in underground mines and tunnels and shafts and usually dealing with hard rock and that kind of thing. So these buckets take a beating, these machines take a beating. And a lot of times these machines can be operated remotely or autonomously um, if the environment dictates that it's too risky to put a uh, real-life operator or if that's just what they want to do. These machines can be made to operate, as I said, remotely or autonomously. So how about for the dumping angle? You've seen the carry angle and the lifter angle. And the dump angle is good enough as well. Perhaps maybe a little bit shallow even to scale of what it should be able to do. But for me, I'm not going to complain. It looks good. All right, so we come to the value part of this video review. I picked mine up, shipped to me from Japan. Uh, it was less than $40. I feel like that's a steal for what you get. To my knowledge, I don't... I can't think of too many other underground mining machines in HO scale that are made. Uh, certainly not any that aren't a ready-made model. I can think of one that's a kit. Um, but you know me, I would much rather have a model that's done and ready to go than have to mess around with the kit. That being said, it would be nice to see. Maybe that's the plan next year. I have no information on that. I have no insider um, intel on that. But maybe since this year was the underground mining loader, it really would be nice to pair it with next year's shareholder gift of perhaps an underground mining truck. I think that's a natural progression and an obvious choice for the gift next year, but who knows? Maybe it'll be a, a, a blast hole drill. Um, again, another 150th scale model I reviewed this year. Check out that video as well. Either or, I think would complement this piece great, especially in 187th scale. So while we wait for a suitable underground mining truck to be made, Let's take the table out for the last time here. As a stand-in for our underground articulated dump truck, let's bring in a regular articulated dump truck. This is probably my favorite one I have in my collection in HO scale. If you're not familiar, this is part of the CCM original 12-piece set. This is the D250E Series 2 articulated dump truck made in brass. As you can see, the bucket kind of dwarfs the dump bed size in this video, or in this truck. And as you can see on video, it's kind of not a fair comparison. But again, we have to wait for a more accurately sized vehicle to be paired with the underground mining loader. So there you go, friends, collectors, and fans of heavy equipment. I hope I did this model justice. It is unusual. You're not going to find this really on any model websites. You're not going to find it in your hobby, uh, your hobby stores here in the U.S., these are something that you specifically have to get from sellers off of eBay. That's the only place I know where to get them. Uh, as I said, I purchased this for under $40 shipped to me, tax, everything included. And I think it's well worth the money. But you guys let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Thank you again so much for watching. If you are new here to this channel, we review models of every type of size and form everything from construction vehicles to mining vehicles to trucks to military vehicles to fire trucks police cars everything if you like things that have a motor in it you're going to like this channel so please subscribe to us if you haven't already thanks again for watching take care be well i'll see you in the next review